good guys coach attack here so on my last video if you guys saw i built a rig for my buddy now he had a good system a decent system but he was just already tired of it and he's like yo kosher i gotta get rid of it i was like listen man send it over i'll take it i'll hook it up you know we're still negotiating whether or not it's gonna be my personal rig hopefully if he's watching he's gonna be like all right you know you can just keep it for all the upgrades that i'm gonna personally do but this is the pc now this is the carbide series the corsair carbide series case it's the uh, 540r i believe it's a big ass case it's a very wide like a square looking case now just let's take a look at inside of the computer guys i can show you how filthy it is hopefully you guys get a good image all this dust this dust oh you got this intel stock cooler which is nasty Ugh. it is like terrible however what we're gonna do is we're gonna like just completely mod it and update it and you know just make it like kosher tech style you know so i went out and got um the h100 the h115i from corsair I got the um, the a new power supply because the power supply he got in there just complete trash. I'm gonna show you guys. I got a mouse. I got a Corsair mouse pad. Um, what else I got? And an SSD, a 250 gig SSD. I just need something simple. Inside he got, I believe he got a 960, an EVGA 960. He's not sure which CPU it is, but it's an Intel CPU and he's using a giga, uh, uh, a gigabyte motherboard. So let's take a look inside, guys. So yeah, that PC is filthy. Goddamn. And I just opened up the back where the power supply is and the wires. Oh, man. Whew, forget about it. It's even worse, guys. It, it, yes. You got dust. Power supply is dust at the bottom. The wires are all a mess. Ah, oh, man, Raffy, Raffy, bruh gonna be a lot of work man yeah guys i'm gonna install what i'm gonna do is actually i'm gonna run it i'm gonna install uh windows on it i'm gonna run it the way it is uh, i'm not gonna clean it i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna mar uh, benchmark it i want to see how it's gonna perform then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna install the parts may like make it look sexy and just see what we can get from that guys let's do it all right so i installed windows 10 got all the drivers up to date I actually overclocked the cpu to 4.2 gigs at 1.35 volts i found out which cpu he has it's the uh, 49 60 no 4690k he has an evga uh, 960 however it's the two gigabyte version not the four gig which sucks i do have um a 1060 laying up there somewhere up there in the shelves if you guys could see it's a six gig card so i'll probably just swap it out on that i did overclock this cpu but damn the temps are crazy check it out so look at these temps guys we're getting close to 100 c uh, close to 100 celsius that's insane and we are at 1.369 volts at and and you see this i see that it's the load like calibration i gotta turn it off it's co constantly fluctuating but yeah that's that's a little insane so next what i'm gonna do basically do is just i'm gonna swap it out i'm gonna clean up the case damn the case is so filthy i'll show it to you guys again i don't know how you guys are gonna see it through the window but oh uh, it's nasty i started sneezing because this nasty case i'm gonna clean it out dust it out do a bunch of stuff to it put everything new in there overclock the goodness of it and let's do it as I'm cleaning out the PC, my goodness, I discovered some filth, guys. Check this out. Ooh, look at the front dust filter. Look how nasty that looks. Oh my God. That's all dirt, dust. Oh. Whew. It's dust everywhere. Give you guys a peek. Oh my God. Ooh. Filthy. I got to clean all this, wash it. Oh my God, I'm going to take out the motherboards. Oh, it's going to be a lot of work. 
Let's go. All right. I took everything out, cleaned mostly most of it. Wore gloves, man. Oh my God, it is disgusting. <laughs> wow. To show you guys, uh, basically stripped the case. Uh, the card is out, everything is out. The motherboard, I, wa I wiped out the thermal paste on the CPU. That it was, The thermal paste was already dry, it was basically solid. That's what it probably was causing the, uh, the high temps. Also the stock cooler. What else? So basically I stripped everything. These fans oh, are just disgusting. So you guys get a nice view of that. Filthy. Whew. So right now we're gonna clean the fans. Um, clean up the case, so much dust in the case. Uh, just get everything going, install the H115i, install the, um, oh shoot, I totally forgot about the power supply. So this is the power supply he had. It's an inland, you guys, probably not focusing right. It's an inland, inland 500 watt power supply. It's complete garbage. It was dusty as hell too, so we're gonna get rid of that power supply. We're gonna put um, the uh, Corsair 750X in there, gold, gold rated power supply. Uh, yeah, we're almost done. Let's go. case is clean finally I just need some wings right now oh man I needed that look at this look at all these paper towels I had to use my goodness this was the most filthiest PC guys if you ever saw another filthy PC like this shoot me some comments below because this shit was filthy Whew. but now it looks fresh so fresh and so clean. All right, I'm gonna put everything in, install everything, get it nice and beautiful. Let's do it.
right, we are back, finally. So as you guys saw, it was night and day. I mean, when I first received it, it was, it was just insane. How filthy, how dusty, you know, obviously cleaning it up, making it look tidy, making it look pretty, putting some bling on there. Just, oh my God, I just can't imagine. I, I, just, I just can't still fathom the thought of he ran a PC that filthy. But that's here and over there. Let's get to the benchmarks. So first off, let's knock on some Valley. So with Valley, I was hitting at 50C as before prior to switching out the cooler, doing all the stuff, I was getting around 70 and was going all the way up to 80C with that card. Obviously stripping everything, putting uh, brand new uh, thermal paste, thermal pads, I got around 50C. I also managed to overclock the card to 1500 megahertz at plus 90 offset, which again is a plus before I couldn't even get that with, um, you know, with all the dirt and dust. Moving on next to Cinebench. Now Cinebench was sweet. We got a score of 682. Prior, prior to running the benchmark first, I believe I was getting around 500, anywhere from, I believe 450 to five, obviously overclocking to 4.6 did help that, also kept the thermals down. Now with the CPU stress test, as you guys could see, we were hitting around 60 Celsius. Keep in mind that the overclock was around 4.6 gigahertz. Uh, prior to that, I couldn't even get 4.6 on the stock with the H15i, that helped a lot. That 4.6 at 60C, which again, which is sweet. I couldn't get 4.7, it was just not stable. I did run this benchmark for around an hour, and uh, prior to this, I ran it for an hour. And yeah, it was, everything was stable, everything was sweet. Now, moving on to GTA 5. Now, GTA 5, it was it was it was a good test. I was surprised in a two gig in a, in a two gig card that it actually ran smooth. All the settings were set to very high. However, the textures were set to the lowest setting. Keep in mind, it's only a two gig card. I thought it's a four gig card, so I, I figured it's gonna actually hit those settings. Unfortunately, it didn't. The textures I did set to the lowest setting. MSA, I believe I turned off. Or I set it to low. So it di we did get a good frame rate. I was hitting around 60 FPS, which was pretty shocked that. A two gig card, you know, I overclocked it to 1500, around 1500 megahertz. I was actually getting, you know, I was getting a stable FPS at around 60 frames per second at 1920 by 1080, which was a plus. Now for Metro Last Light, the same thing. I turned up the settings to very high. However, I did turn up the textures, uh, but that game was just completely GPU intensive. I, you know, the benchmark, as you guys could see, it was just, I wasn't hitting 60. It was around 30 FPS. You know, maybe it's maybe it's due to a two gig card. Now with Rainbow Six Siege game ultra settings very high to its max. Now this game ran smooth as butter. I was hitting beyond 60 frames. Uh, just yeah, I was I was pretty shocked at two gigs. I, I believe I was even only I wasn't hitting two gigs yet. I was um, hitting uh, 1800 megahertz on the RAM. I wasn't yet hitting two gigs. So this game really didn't need that much uh, RAM. For some reason, I was pretty shocked yet excited because you could easily game with this card. Now, of course, with the fan favorite, PUBG. PUBG ran smooth. The most intensive scene is once you jump off the plane, everything render renders in, smooth as butter again. I was hitting beyond 60 frames, kept the card nice and cool. And that's also a big thing that you know, switching the stock, uh, cleaning everything up. I was hitting, this card was hitting at around 50C, which was mind blowing because prior to cleaning everything up, I was getting around 70, even even close to 80 Celsius. But it was just, it was just insane that doing all this, switching everything out that now this, this computer is basically kosher tech certified and you could easily game on it. And I'm just happy. And I hope, Rafi, if you're watching, I know you're watching, you know, I could just keep this PC since I put so much work at it. But that's that, guys. I hope you guys liked the vid. Shoot, come, shoot some comments below. Tell me what you guys think about the PC. Tell me how filthy it was. Tell me if you saw something more filthy. Tell me what you want to see next, guys. As always, keep it kosher tech. Hit that sub. Hit that like, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace.